Ever wondered how to make the perfect gobi aloo at home? This popular North Indian dish, brimming with the comforting flavors of cauliflower and potatoes, is a culinary delight that can be easily prepared in your kitchen. Let's start with the ingredients. You'll need a medium cauliflower cut into florets, two medium-sized potatoes peeled and cubed, two to three tablespoons of oil, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one onion finely chopped, two tomatoes finely chopped or pureed, one green chili finely chopped, a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a teaspoon each of turmeric powder, red chili powder and coriander powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala and salt to taste. Finally, fresh coriander leaves will be used for garnishing. Begin by washing the cauliflower florets and potatoes thoroughly. Once done, set them aside. Next, heat oil in a pan or skillet over medium heat. Add cumin seeds and wait for them to splutter. This will release their aromatic oils and infuse the dish with a warm, earthy flavor. Now, add chopped onions and saute until they turn golden brown. This process caramelizes the onions, enhancing their natural sweetness and lending a depth of flavor to the dish. Next, add the ginger garlic paste and green chili. Saute for a minute until the raw aroma disappears. This step is crucial as it cooks out the rawness of the ginger and garlic while the green chili adds a spicy kick. Add in the chopped tomatoes or tomato puree and cook until they become soft and the oil starts to separate from the masala. This indicates that the tomatoes are well cooked and the flavors are well integrated. Now, it's time to add the spices. Turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander powder, garam masala and salt. Mix well and cook the spices for a couple of minutes. This step is known as blooming the spices. It helps to release their full flavor potential. Now add the cauliflower florets and potato cubes to the pan. Ensure they're evenly coated with the spice mixture. Stir gently to combine everything. Cover the pan and let the vegetables cook on low medium heat. Stir occasionally to ensure they cook evenly. If needed, sprinkle a little water to help cook the vegetables. Check the cauliflower and potatoes for doneness. They should be tender but not mushy. If required, cook for a few more minutes. Once the vegetables are cooked to your preference, garnish with fresh coriander leaves. This adds a burst of freshness and color to the dish. Your gobi aloo is now ready to be served hot with chapati, naan, or rice. This dish offers a delightful blend of flavors and can be adjusted according to your spice preferences. Remember, the key to a perfect gobi aloo lies in the quality of your ingredients, the careful balance of spices, and the patience in letting the flavors meld together. Enjoy your homemade gobi aloo. For more details and finger-licking recipes, do visit www.indianrecipebook.com. Happy cooking!